This is the tutorial for Graph 1 for Assignment 4-1. On this sheet, we have information on utility costs for the month of September. Five utilities are listed, but we cannot read the cost of these utilities. If you click on the cell for the cost of gas, for example, you can see the cost up in the formula bar. However, you cannot see the number in the cells because the column is not wide enough to display the numbers. You can change the size of the columns so that the numbers can be displayed. Move your cursor up to the top of the column between C and D. Notice that the shape of the cursor changes. You can click and drag on the line between C and D and move the mouse to the right to expand the column to fit the numbers. Press Ctrl Z to undo that so we can try this another way. You can double click and the column will automatically resize. Now you can create a chart for this information. First you need to tell Excel what information will be going on the chart. With this information there is a total and there is a heading. We will add that information separately. Highlight the headings utility and cost and each of the items below down through the cost of the phone utility. Do not include the grand total. We want a column chart, so click on the drop down menu for the column and bar charts. First I click on my insert menu, then I go over to my column and bar charts, and I find a clustered column. The chart appears on the screen. The names of the utilities appear across the bottom, and the dollar amounts are al vertically along the side. You can change the title of the chart. Double click to select that text that's there and then type in September. Now you can make changes to some of the other chart features. Click on the column for the first utility to select it and you will see that all of the columns are selected. I know that because there are little circles on the edges of the columns. If I click on the first utility again, only that column is selected, and I know this because the circles disappear from the other columns. While the gas column is selected, right click and select the fill option. Choose a color. Do the same for each of the utilities. To insert the legend, click on the chart to select it. The chart tools menu appears at the top. Choose design, then go all the way to the left and click on add chart elements. Choose legend, then choose the location for the legend. Let's choose right. Now let's add data labels. Make sure your chart is selected. Choose design again. Choose add chart elements. Click on data labels. Then choose the location for the data labels. Let's put them on the inside end. 
the data labels puts the actual value on the column for each utility. Now let's format the chart some more. Click on the inside of the chart to select it. On the format menu, click on shape fill and then choose a color. Now let's add a line around the edge of the chart. Select the chart by clicking on the outer edge. Let me make my colors stay there first. From the chart tools menu, click on format, choose shape outline, click on weight, choose six points, Click on Shape Outline again to choose a color. Then choose Shape Effects and choose Glow. Choose one of the Glow options. This is the end of this tutorial. Remember to save your work.